You're listening to It's Tricky with Raquel Harper. So what's tricky? What does that mean? Oh, let the camera roll. Jacob Lattimore just walked in the building. He's late, okay? I am I am late, yeah, and I, I apologize because yeah. I, 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 I pride myself on being punctual. Yeah, you guess what? It's, it's, it's all good that he's late, but then the only part that is tricky is, right, he tells me he has a hard all time. I'm like, wait a minute. I do? You I, sitting there with the hard all time. I said, oh, I ain't got a hard. me short on my time. Uh, my, I, I think my my next thing ain't till like one o'clock. So we oh, okay, we, we out here now. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good. How you feeling? Good. I'm happy you're here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm thanks for thank you for having me. Yes, yeah. of course. You know, um, I definitely am excited about the new season. Mm, yeah, I am. I am too. I, I watched the episode last night. Um, his streaming. Um, today. Mm-hmm. Uh, on Showtime, it airs on Sunday. Really, really excited about it. And uh, yeah, it's dope. Season five, man. Oh, that's, I mean, that's a good check. Hey. Yeah, hey. Man. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you sitting there late, like, it, okay, y'all yeah, say number five. That means <laughs> the band is flowing. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, you with your character, do you know what I was thinking about, right? Um, for acting, mm-hmm. have you ever decided like one of the real roles that you're playing are too real? Like you feeling it a little bit? Um, no, I think that's as an actor, I think that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the more the the, the most real character possible. Um, so I think the shy has been has sort of been that for me. You know, I did I did a lot of film before the shy, but the shy to me made an impact mm-hmm. like no other. You know, so. Um, where I was playing this young kid who had a re- very relatable story, baby mama drama, ki- kids at a young age, and trying to, you know. But you don't have none of that. No, I don't. You but Unless, wait, but, unless. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Nah, um, <laughs> I was but, about to say, is she unexpected now? Nah, yeah. nah, nah. It's, uh, but I think I think it is, it's definitely a relatable story, and um, just his, his, how he's navigating through women and trying to, you know, um, sort of, sort of like really just step up to the plate and be a father. And I think that's, I think that's a really relatable story. So I, um, you know, I was, I was excited to do the shy when I first, when I first got the script and I was just like, man, like this could be, this could be dope, but it's also scary because it's called the shy. Like mm-hmm. it's not called the hood or like you yeah. represent a city that you're not from, you know, I'm from Milwaukee, you know, so yeah. uh, shout out to my castmates who really kind of give me that. Chicago energy. Do you ever get to go to Chicago a couple months and try to figure out like the Chicago flow? Uh yeah, yeah. Like the first the first month we were out there when we shot the pilot, we shot the pilot just like we was out there for about maybe two weeks or a month or something like that. And then I was just around my castmates. We was I um, Did you go to O Block? Uh, I peeked in. I peeked in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't stay too long. Yeah. I ain't stay too long. I peeked in in and said, out. Oh, okay. And I went to I went to a pool party and I I left just in time. Oh, if that okay. makes sense. Yeah, oh, for sure. If that makes sense. Yeah, they asked me to host a party before in um, Chicago. I'm like, well, sure, you know what I'm saying? But um, is there going to be security with the guns? People, people you know? was like, people was like, what you doing here, bro? Yeah. <laughs> you know, this the shot for real. I said, yeah, I see. For and real, I, for real. I said, I'm going to get back to set. <laughs> <laughs> you think about, ah, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll get back to set. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, and then it went down. You you read the paper later on. Oh, 21st and shoot. And like, Fans DMing me like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm back. <laughs> you know, I got I got this, I got the discernment anyway. I'm from Milwaukee, so Milwaukee, you know, just is crazy. So I'm like, yeah, it's but time. But what happens in Milwaukee besides cheese? No, no, no. It's a lot more. A lot more. Look at oh, You got to look really? it up. You got to look. Oh, okay. All it's, right. it's a small it's, small, it's a small town, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know. Shout out to MKE. Yeah. So, I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I only went past. You got to know when to leave. Oh. You know? Okay. Well, listen. He's telling me about the hoods of Milwaukee right now. Hey. Okay. There's, there, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't know they were even present out there like that. Yeah, for sure. But it's some, it's some beautiful parts of Milwaukee, too. You know what I'm saying? What's your favorite part of working on the shine? Um, I think just the energy of just being in the in the city, the food is amazing. Um, I love getting out on the yacht and looking at the the skyline, the city. Um, I think it got one of the best skylines I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And then um, pizza, pizzas, pizzas good. I try to stay away from that because I, I keep my shirt off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. They Lizard. keep they, they keep me with oh. my shirt off. Okay. If you look, if you look at <laughs> if you look at season one to now, I try to I try to stay balanced because mm. you know I got I got to keep the waistline solid because they just like. Sex scene, sex scene, sex scene. I'm just like, oh. Okay, when you're doing the sex scenes right, you ever feel it like, you know what I'm saying? Do you ever get excited? Um, no. It's because, it's, I mean, it, 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 it's... Too much cameras it's, around or you're not It's like, 
it's like 17 people watching you like this. Mm-hmm. Behind the camera, oh, so getting, you... making sure angles is right, lighting is right, grips is right. It's very much work. So it looks it looks good on screen, mm-hmm. like when they put it together, but it's very much so a nerve wracking process. Like, okay, you cool with this position here? Okay, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna go here, and then you can put your hand here. Okay, cool. It's like <laughs> it's a very calculated thing because everybody's trying to look. Oh, so you never even gotten the move not one time ever? Nah, nah, it's not yet. So you okay? He said not yet. I mean, maybe. Because, well, there's I some mean, people, I guess. Well, I guess there's some scenes though, you know, because remember, like, you know, well, you 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 know, like Angelina Jolie and what is his name, Bobby? What's his? No, not Brad Pitt, not him. I mean, I guess if you're doing, it something. was the other one. Her, Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, I mean, like, I get turned real, real. You I know? mean, I guess if you're doing it like with somebody that you're comfortable with and you're like really like you know you, but you but maybe you, offset you've. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, okay. But you know that ain't but that you, ain't happen. Oh, you know, cause you got Tabuki now. You know, yeah. I interviewed her before. Mm-hmm. I rare. like her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, I bet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good pick. BET award and stuff. And <laughs> That's you a just, good pick. Huh? <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, you did good. Yeah, she 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 solid. She real solid. Do she, you ever worry about anybody trying to slip in the DMs or you know? Uh, more got I mean, control. I mean, I think you know when you approach a, a woman like that, you got to be secure. She definitely. I'm pretty sure her DMs are going crazy. You know what I mean? I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure. Do you so, ever look in the phone and be like, "Hey, is it tricky?" Or I not? try to stay out of that. I try yeah. to stay out of that. That's 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 where you know. She don't ever look in yours. Uh, uh-uh. no, no. We 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 gotta be secure as as actors and entertainers in the game. Like you gotta be, you gotta be secure in this. You know what I mean? So and we travel a lot. Distance is a factor. So communication is everything. Yeah, I seen the little costumes get up and stuff like that. The Flintstone joining. Yeah, stuff. yeah. We we yeah. have fun. <laughs> we have fun. We um, actually that night we were supposed to go to a Halloween party. Then we ain't, we ain't even end up going. We just literally stayed and she made spaghetti and we just like chilled that night. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so how do you know when somebody, when they're the one, because you're so young and stuff, like, you know, how do you know, like, you're in love and things like that? I think you just feel what you feel and not really worry about, you know, like, how long it'll go. You just, like, obviously you have intentions to go the distance, but you just, um, you know, you just feel what you feel, you know? What, what, what age is a good age for marriage, you think? I don't think, it, I wouldn't put it on any age. I would say, because my grandparents got married at, they were younger than me. What, 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 uh, Papa, I think that was, like, I think they was like twenty, like nineteen, these are your, twenty. These are your brothers? Uh, no, my no, my grand my grandparents. Oh no, my, no, I meant here. Oh, that's my mother, and that's my that's my step pops right there. Oh, step, okay. Step. Oh, so y'all are no, that's why they're looking at the calculations because usually I ask them just now about grandparents. I'm yeah. like, um, which one? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm yeah. like, that's a good question. Yeah, like, my grandparents. I was like, who? You know, what I'm saying, oh, what's up, family? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. my, my grandparents been married forty. Yeah, forty plus years. Oh, that's that's a whole black gold. That's a black love, so, black gold dreams type of thing. Yeah. So when my mom was going on, you know, she was in college and she was she was doing her um her schooling like in Chicago and she was driving. I was spending a lot of time with my grandparents. So um I seen that I seen that that love. You know what I mean? I yeah. seen that. I seen. No, I mean, if you're forty up, years deep in it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a different type. You don't even hear about that type of love anymore. Yeah. Most relationships last probably like uh, five days. Like, it's tough. It's tough. I mean, like it's tough. I mean, ain't no telling what they went through and they and oh, they, 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 they You know what I'm saying? But you grannies, know? grannies have been through some shit. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So when, you know, I just, I just. <laughs> I just um I, I admire that you know I admire that you know just that that love that distance and building the family I got four uncles and a dad so I was like you know and I'm the I'm the grandchild so it's I got a big family. What's what's better for you as far as singing or are you feel um acting which one you like better? Um, uh, it depends. It depends on what like I haven't been in it like I I literally hopped back into the studio for the first time this weekend. Um, so I haven't been in the studio in about a year. And film is just, it's, it's something I've enjoyed um, over the past, oh, wow, I've been acting my almost 10, 10, 10 years. Um, and it's just, it's something I I've, I really fell in love with and the process, I was I was scared of it at first. Like, no, nah, I'm going to do music first and then mm-hmm. hop into f- film after I get my music success. You know, that's kind of what my, my mindset was. Your brothers was. and everything, they'd be like, we still need to get back out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I just, um... Yeah, I'm just like, I think it really just depends on the project and depends on the purpose on it. Like, I think me going back into the studio now, I have a little more clarity and vision on what I want to do. And um, yeah. What do you want to do? Well, I can't really say it now because you know, I, I got to record it. You know, I want to, you know, mm-hmm. but it's it's definitely, I have, I'm here, I'm listening. I'm I, have, I have more intentions on just like 
the type of music I want to put out and the type of energy I want to bring. Like, I, def- I definitely want to do some more up and mm-hmm. just like up tempo. I'm a smiley person, as you can see. I'm yeah, happy. I mean, your so, teeth are great. You thank know you. What I'm saying? Those are great teeth. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad that. Saraya um, just booked me a dentist appointment. I got a got got a good cleaning. Yeah, I mean that cleaning's amazing, and I'm glad you don't have the fake joints because. <laughs> I hardly see me anybody with real it's, teeth anymore. No, nah, I literally, I, I've, I've been, I've been tempted by it. my boy Trev. No, don't, 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 my don't. Boy, no. Your, your my teeth boy. is cracking. Don't nah, you I'm do it? Like, don't you get them veneers? I'm like, Mm-mm. I'm like, nah. Nope, nope, nope. Don't I'll do probably it. get them. I just probably get them no, filed. No, a little no, bit no. And... Your teeth are good. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. It's you know what I'm saying? It's solid. Keep your teeth. Yeah. I'm this is it. like a PSA alert right now. Keep your teeth because yeah, right now I just don't like nobody has teeth anymore. Yeah, I would just say if you're gonna do it, do the layering. Don't do the don't shave your real teeth. Don't do that. What's the layering? What does that mean? Well, I mean like they got two different things. They do the they do the layering on your teeth on the veneers and then they, they actually shave your two teeth all the way down. And then put the veneers on. Keep yours. So yours keep, yeah. is good. Yeah, yeah. Everybody that what is I would the, say the keep the, keep your Dominican. real teeth underneath. Yeah. No, just keep your teeth, period. Uh, the guy in um, what's his name, Dominican Republic? The one dude, you know what I'm saying? I forgot his name, or whatever. But he is hitting my DMs, right? So he is telling me about go- me getting some teeth. Uh-huh. So I said, "Well, look here, mother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look here. What you ain't gonna do is have me walking around like a goddamn camel. You calm this shit down, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's like, "No, you have to." He's like, "Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like that's in your world. You have to get the teeth." I'm mm-hmm. like, "Well, my teeth is a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Have a couple openings, you but keep, goddamn, just keeping it authentic. Yeah, forget it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I like okay. that. But in you, keep your teeth. So you just, I just say, just keep. The dentist told me keep flossing, keep yeah. brushing." I That's mean, the best listen, thing you can kids, do. you don't have to sit here and walk around with the extras. I mean, but this is a very important message. I'm glad we're talking about this. You got to take care of the teeth good, you have. I'm glad you have good teeth. Because Thank you. this is, it really drives me crazy, though, because now every single person I talk to, I'm like, well, gosh, where is the regular happening here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nothing nothing wrong for you guys walking around fake teeth. Well, I mean, some of we, us needed the fake teeth. I get it. But mm-hmm. some of us, you know what I'm saying, we could have just just did the regular brushing, went to Dennis, did the floss, and got the cleaning. Hey, you know, I, to each his own. <laughs> 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 I, I ain't mad at you. Go ahead, do your thing. Do your thing. And if you could change anything about yourself, what would you change? Uh, I think the only thing I could I, I could change the things I can control is maybe like you know my abs and my my, my you would know, you ever my... go get that new man ab thing? What is it? Nah, nah. I, I, seen... I like to stay in the gym. I, something therapeutic about the gym for me. I mean, like it's not therapeutic for me. I wish I could feel that. Nah, shit. it's definitely. I think once you start, it's gonna be. I, I it's listen, gonna be. I, last year, right before I had my but, baby, I was doing a bunch of walks and circles and shit around the park. Right, <laughs> right I went up to View Park and I was just sitting there doing laps. Just boom, boom, well, boom. that's good. Yeah, but then I'm like, okay. You know, after a couple of laps and stuff, after a while, I'm like, you know, I'm tired of walking the goddamn circles. I feel that. I feel <laughs> that. But that's that's good working out though. Like I think like I think people get so caught up into like, oh, I need to go hard, crazy, and sweat crazy every day. But a nice walk or you know, mm-hmm. that's that's a part of working out. Yeah. So when you how how often do you go to the gym? I try to go every day, but I mean, let's, with the schedules, I try to at least go maybe like three times a week, three, four times a week. So are you self-conscious of your body? Are you feeling any type of way? Uh, In a sense, yeah, just because like, you know, when I, I'm, in a, I'm in a TV show that requires my shirt to be off, I'm in a, I'm in a character, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like I try to live up to that that character and I also just, I like to feel good, you know? So I think when you like, when you work out, you, you feel good. You, you know? eat regular food or you eat vegan food? Oh, a little bit of both. I mean, I'm a, mm. I balance. Like some some days, I'll be like, no, nah, I ain't gonna. Well, eat actually, re- vegan food is regular food, huh? Shit, yeah, yeah, it's, it okay. is. It is regular food, yeah, right? I mean, so I just like I'll be like, no, nah, I don't really want no chicken today. I'm gonna just do salads. It's been some days where I just don't eat eat chicken, and the next day I, I get to Atlanta and I see lemon pepper high, and I'm like, let me get some lemon pepper wings. So. The, oh, for the lemon, pe- I'm about to go down to um Tuesday, mm-hmm. um. Do you go to the strip club for the lemon pepper? Uh, Magic City. I mean, no, you don't have to. You don't have to, but they mm. they do have they do have great wings. Yeah, so I have experienced it before. Uh, when you go to well, speaking of, okay, you know what? Um, strip club scene and stuff like that. They mm-hmm. see you walk in, they are automatically excited. They're like, you know, yeah, he's got it. <laughs> I'm targeting in. <laughs> nah, yeah, I, um, I yeah, my strip club phase was maybe about a month and a half, literally. Like, I was in there like, we gotta go to the strip club, and then now I'm like, nah, I'm cool. But I, if I pop in, you know, I'll... What's the most money you spend in a strip club? I think, like, 1500 something like that. 
Mm. Yeah. She had a good night. That's good. Mm, yeah, that's about three bills. Yes, yeah, it's, it's. I felt good. Yeah, I felt like I, you know, <laughs> like you, you, you participated. I helped in somebody. Home. I felt like I helped somebody. <laughs> you know, and you know, I, I didn't give it to him like that, but you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> trick boom, <boo-boo, laughs> right, right. Boo-boo. Yeah, you gonna do nice sprinkles, or you can do bam, <laughs> right, right. You, or or you just if you ain't got if you don't want to spend that much, you got a hundred dollars, just throw it and then leave. Yeah. Leave right after. Oh, see, what I do is, right, <laughs> so I'm more so, like, if I go to the club, you know what I'm saying, I go with the people who have the money, and I just stand behind them, right. and I wait till they pass the money, yeah. and I act like I'm doing something as soon as, like, yeah, I see somebody hey, you come got, over. You got 500 on Yeah, them. and then I'm going to just go right back in the park. Hey, you got 500 in now, one. Exactly. The 500 piece. And oh. then you slide, they slide. No, if that. I do the 500 piece, I'm going to give them two, and I'm going to tuck two. No, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> 250, 250. We do this here now. Right, right, right. I, I just can't go. I mean, I did... I remember, I think I didn't spend all my ones. And then, like, literally, I'm back home, like, oh, I got all these ones. And I'm like, oh, I got the strip club. I'm like, I mean, the ones, I, I just use them. <laughs> just use them. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, you know. Right, hey, right. You know what I'm saying? Listen, you find them you extra enough. ones in your pocket or your drawer, or your book bag. You're like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. I mean, and then you're like, strip club. Let's go to the strip club again. Spend the rest of these ones and, mm-hmm. then, and leave. Yeah. Leave right after. Leave. Leave. You, you said the key is to leave. It'll trap you. Because I, yeah. I went to, uh, uh, what's that club called in Miami? 11? And yeah. It, it, it don't, it, it's a 24 hours. It, oh, it no. Don't, so. It don't close. Man, listen. That's exactly so. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, Mac Main or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. He was telling me about, like, the club, whatever. He sent me to 11. So I went in that bad boy, right? And I was sitting there, like, I was like, okay, boom. I, I met Brian McKenney up there. And then I'm like, yo, it's nine o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. and this is regular. Yeah, like y'all still in here fizzing. Yeah, like you, <laughs> you could be showing up at nine a.m. and people could be leaving at nine a.m. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like you, like, hey, good night, good morning, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, right. you know, <laughs> like, yeah, my check just hit this morning, so I'm a. Yeah, it's a party. It's a party. It's yeah, a party. actually it's house party. House party. House party. Yeah. Uh, well, what what's the what's what do you mean? Can is we it? can we say is about okay, so it's not it's not coming out this year. Oh, <gasps> dang! It's coming out next year. Why isn't it coming out this year? Well, uh, some things are happening at Warner, um, and you What's know that happening. I think it's some it's some uh, what discovery? It's executive changes. I'll say that. Mm. Yeah, she, look, she came Sorry. through with it. You know Executive she, changes yeah. are happening. Publicists always but come through with the with the right with the right word. I do like, think I'm like a show. <laughs> I do think um the pushing back the release date it, it will give us a better uh a better release. What I'm I'm excited about. Did LeBron James help out at all? Did he come through at all? Yeah, he did. He um he uh he showed up for about I think it was like two or three days. He uh had some scenes and um but his his staff and his company are real hands on so. Yeah, Spring. Shout out came, to Spring Hill. When he came, does he talk to you guys? Does he help you out? And yeah, he uh, he he said he listened to my music. He uh he he watched the shy. It was every it was dope. Like I it's stuff I didn't even know. I was like, oh, I bet for sure. Do you try like when he comes on scene? Do you try to act a little better? Like nah, I'm like this is LeBron. Uh-huh. I'm a fan. You know, I just I think for me like I'm still meeting a lot of the the other celebs because everybody's so in work mode. You know, you just mm-hmm. see him when you in passing and um. Yeah, so it was dope to to know that he uh he see what I'm doing. I see obviously yeah, the world sees what he's doing, and uh, it was dope. It was dope to be a part of a, a Spring Hill production, LeBron production. It was dope. Yeah, LeBron production. Mm-hmm. I mean, the LeBron has a crazy back. Jesus Christ! I yeah. mean, good grief! First billionaire now cracking. Let me hold some. Yeah. I mean, he did. Mm-hmm. You're in the movie. Let <laughs> I me mean, hold. Oh, right, right, right. You got the real hold. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a house party. What you? Which one house party thinks going to be better? Oh. Uh, as far as ours versus the original, mm-hmm. I think the I think the original always will always hold his hold his place in in time. But I feel like once people see our version, it's I don't I don't think people are gonna really uh, resonate it with a remake. Like we didn't really remake anything. We pay homage for sure. Yeah. But I think it's a different it's a different approach. It's it's I think the first thing I when I booked the when I booked the role, I was like, all right, chemistry chemistry got to be fire, right? Like. Mm-hmm. If me, my boy Tosin, shout out to Tosin, um, I was like, me and Tosin got to have chemistry. And but, but the thing about it is me and Tosin met months before production, just ironically, because yeah. he was filming a show called 61st Street in Chicago while I was filming season four of The Shot. So we were chopping it up. He had, he had pulled up to my house. We had eight and, you know, we was just like chilling and we was like, 
He was like, bro, you book house party? And then wrote, I found out wrote Timmy, DC Young Fly. These are all, you know, all my big brothers that I know. And um, I was like, oh, this movie going to be easy. Okay, so for, listen, for... Um, I mean, not easy, but it's going to be... When you know you got no, chemistry. No, you the vibe. I get it. You know? Don't worry. And mm-hmm. you guys don't try to take some his words and do weird shit. Yeah. But anyways, mm-hmm. so um, for do the original characters come? Do Kid and Play come and help you out at all? They make a little... I can't. I don't want to say it. It's, I mean, we're we a year out now. Okay. I mean, cool. Yeah, but... They can't. They came and gave you... Of course. They got to they gotta, they gotta make a little wink in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they, they showed up. They showed up. Yeah. And so how was that vibe? It was incredible. It was incredible. I think... I think um, their brand has just been living for so long, and they just, it's just it's regular to them. You know, it's, it's house party. They're like, what's up, man? Okay, yeah, actually, they're the Young homies, OGs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're the big, the big OGs. Yeah. Much respect. Yeah, they... Much respect. I mean, they're definitely booming, you know, as far as they can... All, that role, that's why, you know, people will try to criticize you heavy from this, so mm-hmm. be prepared and, you know... Oh, yeah. Don't, don't ever sit here and have your hopes down or high or anything about what people say. Just do yeah. you... Because you're gonna have the haters flock as soon as this shit drops, you know they're gonna come. And yeah, with you. I know, I know, and I, and I think you know I was definitely like, I got that call from my agent. I was like, all right, house party. Then I read the script, seen who was in it, um, and then I was like, I was like, Let, I think, I think I can bring some energy to this. I think it's it, it's, I think people will appreciate it. I've watched it like five, six times already. Was your decision based on because of the LeBron James production, or is it just based on the script? Writing. Writing, writing first, writing. I always look at a script. I look for writing first. I don't, I don't care. I mean, much respect to producers, but I don't, I don't care about none of that. The writing, mm-hmm. what, what are we talking about, you know, yeah. and and what is, what are we trying to portray, and what are we, what's the energy we trying to get across, you mm-hmm. know? So, I definitely saw the writing, and I was like, this feels good. Yeah, this feels good. Back real quick, back to um LeBron. Did what was the best advice he gave you uh, when he was on set? Uh. It wasn't. It wasn't much advice he gave me. Um, I think. I think just him like appreciating what I do and my music and um, just seeing what I do like as far as my acting and my music. I think that was enough for me. And then I just watched him work because I think uh, we had an all night shoot. So I was like, "What you do?" I said, "What you do after we rap?" He said, "Uh, I woke up, take about an hour nap, and hit the gym about four a.m." And I was like, "What?" Because we rapped it like. We wrapped it like we wrapped it about three, mm-hmm. and then he said, "Actually, no, I think he, my bad. He uh, went to the gym at like six a.m. something like that, and then he spent some time with his. He said took took a nap, spent some time with his kids, his his wife, and he went back to the gym again before set. So he was like, he was in off season mode of just like working, and I was like, bro, workaholic, you know. Mm-hmm. And I was like, if anything, that's that's what I took away from it. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try that four or five six a.m. thing, and then." <laughs> I did it one time. I was like, I don't know how he do this. Yeah, 4 a.m. in the gym. You you a different type of workaholic. After, you but know. not with no sleep. After, you know, we did a, a all night shoot. Our call time was like six, six, five, or maybe like four, four or five in the evening. And we didn't rap till about three or four in the, in, you know, in the morning. So, Jeez. Yeah, yeah. And, and most of, and, and when you're filming a movie like House Party, most of your scenes are night shoots. Yeah. So, of course. The first two weeks was. Full of night shoots, so I wasn't answering my phone most of the day because I was sleeping. I was sleeping during the day, and then we was, you know, outside at night. Dang, yeah. I mean, that's it. But but it was a party. It was a party. It was a party. I'm like, hey, it's a party. It was a party. It was. You dope. know what I'm saying? It's cracking though. It's a great experience. It was a great experience, and I had, I had just finished season four of The Shy, and I was just like, you know, with The Shy, we it's a lot of us, so our work days are spread out. But when you do a film like House Party, you're in every scene. Every day. How know? long did it take to shoot? Uh, maybe about two months. Mm. Two months. Two months here out in LA. Mm-hmm. Oh, so the party's here. So it's a real party. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a real LA-based sort of house party vibe. So it's gonna be dope. So is it like the what nineties, eighty? Like what's it's the... modern. It's modern day mm-hmm. today. It's today. Oh, okay, good. Mm-hmm. All right, because I'm about to say if you then you go to the thing. It's I'm today because like, yeah. I I was like I was like we can't do the high top. Like we gotta embrace where. Yeah, your hair is good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, he's, gotta, yeah, he does a cold lineup. Huh? But we gotta embrace where the culture is today. And I feel like mm-hmm. that's what that's what made House Party the original House Party so dope. They embraced where they was. Yeah, because you have the still you still have the haircut. Yep. That's but this, you know, this Jake, this Jake. Oh, okay. He said, Oh, this is a don't give kid this yet. No. This Jake. <laughs> you know, this Jake. This, you know what I mean? And then it just happened to ah, house party. 
2023. <laughs> what is your most, out of every single film that you've ever been in, what has been the most effective for your career? Effective? Um, I would say The Shy has been the most effective, but I think this this role I, I did in this movie called Gully has mm -hmm. been the most challenging and I think has showed the most uh, um, sort of like my my colors. It, it showed that I can do something different and do something that's not me at all. Uh, so this film called Gully, it's on Hulu, uh, Amazon Prime, and um, yeah, Hulu and Amazon Prime. Uh, you can you can watch it on there. Um, it's a it's an indie independent, real small budget movie, but it was it was dope. Uh, mm -hmm. Me, uh, uh, Jonathan Majors, um, Kelvin Harrison, um, uh, Charlie Plummer. Um, mm -hmm. Who else was in it? Uh, Terrence, yeah, Terrence Howard. Um, it was, it was a great, it was a great film. It was a great film. I think, I think it was, it was, a, it was challenging for me. It was, a, it was a role I kind of had to go method for, and I never had to do that before, really. Like, not be me at all, like on and offset. I had to. Even my boy Trev, he was like, I can't wait to this movie done, bro. I don't like you right now. <laughs> like he said, I don't like you right now. I was dark. I had tattoos all on my face and. It was just it was um it was an experience. You know, I feel like as an actor you wanna you wanna get that those type of roles, you know, maybe not too often so you're not going crazy in your personal life. <laughs> but um but every now and then, you know, it's it's good to tap in on that. Um, for anyone in black Hollywood mm. ever help you or mentor you, like any other actors? Um uh, shout out to Tyrese, shout out to uh Tyrese. Tyrese, yeah. And what does Tyrese do? Well when I, I did I did black black this film called Black Nativity was my it was one of my first films mm -hmm. I did when I was a kid and Tyrese just kind of you know you know put his arm around me like hey man I got you you know what I mean I'm your big brother through, through all this so uh, and does he still call you yeah every now and then every now and then, it's a lot busier now you know yeah I mean he has a new honey and stuff like a lot that. busier She's now too, but yeah. you know when when I see him and we reach out I call him I can call him when I feel like it you know and then and then uh, DM him whatever. Um, Tyrese, one of those guys. Terrence, Terrence Howard for sure. Um, well, acting, it's just Terrence Howard. Mm -hmm. um, what advice does Terrence Howard give you? Nah, he. Uh, what, I think what what he what he admired about me on uh, on the set of Gully, he was like, man, I seen you just because it was a scene. Well, I wanted to get a movie away, but it's a scene I had to just sort of lay there for a minute, and then um, he was like. He was like, I seen you just lay there, man. It's cold outside. You ain't complain. You ain't. It's cold outside for He said, you know, you ain't come. You ain't come. You ain't complain or nothing, man. Mm -hmm. You ain't complain. <laughs> uh, you're gonna go a long way in your career, man. And I just took that. And I was just like, I appreciate that because, you know, it just he an OG in the game. And he he didn't seen everything. You know, he didn't seen but a lot more. That's hilarious that he told you it's cold outside when it's cold outside for a pimp. Like that's. Ah! <laughs> like I mean, but he, he went, can't even make this up. But he not, This is a good conference, you know. Then he, he he not playing a pimp in this movie. Yeah, okay. He not playing a pimp in this movie. But I, he still told you it's I know, cold I know. I mean, you know what's hot? Out here yeah. yeah, that's classic. It's classic. And then right. introduced me to Taraji and just introduced me to. That. Oh, Taraji. Yeah, because Empire and the Shy was filming right oh, next okay. door to each other for their last two seasons in the beginning of our first and second season. So um, he was like. He told Taraji, he's he's one of us. He's one of us. Oh, I was like, okay. I was like, and Taraji was like, what that mean? He one of us. I don't know if I want to be one of y'all. And I was yeah. like, I was like, I love her. She just authentic. And then yeah, I, I interviewed was, Taraji. I liked her a lot. Yeah, yeah, she was dope. And then um, she was just like, uh, you know, she was just keep going, keep What's going. What's one of us though? Did you ever get what? Well, one just of us I think means? I think just tapping into acting and roles and, and being serious about no, the craft. You mean to the black elite? Yeah. That's what it means. Yeah. You know what That's yeah. what it really means. Yeah, for sure. I you, mean you should have second chest out. Like, yeah. You know, I mean, I just that's what I'm popping at. I think know? I think the more humble I am, I mean, the higher that. I'll raise. You better feel yourself sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I I, I that's why I'm here. Yeah. You know? I mean, listen, that's why I'm talking That's why to I you. wore silk today. Hey, the silk is yeah. You I know mean, what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I mean, your swag will go up high and Thank stuff like you. that. Your DM will probably pop even more, but you have a honey, so I mean, yeah, well, you, that's how it should be, but it shouldn't be. Like, I guess I don't know. Hey, you know, the world but is a they crazy. Just try it anyway. The world how... is a crazy place. Yeah, I mean, listen, Yin and Yang, Yin Yang, Yin Yang twins, huh? Yin Yang twins. Wait, who's who's cracking out of Milwaukee? Uh, wow, it's um, it's a <laughs> me, Jake. Yeah, I have to think me, about Jake. That. But I mean, outside of myself, um. Shout out to uh, 
the yeah, the Milwaukee Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, shout out to okay. So yeah, I'm out here. Kev, out Kev, yeah, Kevin Kevin Looney. Yeah, listen, but Kevin Looney played for the Warriors, and Jordan Poole are from Milwaukee. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. So that all right. So and at least we have somebody out of. What's just, the what's the uh, rapper? What's the rapper from? Uh, if you don't know, then we he ain't what, cracking. What's what's say? I can't hear you. Lakia, um, and it's a what's the other? He a little more. Listen, K Camp from Milwaukee. Oh, okay, yeah, um, K Camp. Tank, yeah, Tank is from Tank is from Milwaukee. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, now what's the what's the artist, the rapper, the rapper from Milwaukee? Munch Lauren and uh, Little Chicken. Okay. Munch Lauren and Little Chicken. And these are a little chicken. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> these are these are these are these are Milwaukee artists. Yeah. Yeah, and um. Uh, wait, I, but what is the twins? Does, wait, what song does Little Chicken sing? I want to know. I don't. Chicken I don't. I, it's not my. It's not my vibe. Like honestly, but he. Like I was in the. I was in the club. And I was like, he got it rocking. He got it rocking. Shout to out to him. Little Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> he got it rocking. He got it rocking. Yeah. Okay. That's funny. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know who Little Chicken is, but hey. I, you know what? Just hey, so I one can day, say one chicken, day, I want to say it. <laughs> yeah, and then Cuckoo Cow back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Myself, you know, <laughs> and you know, uh, we gonna keep it rocking. Yeah, MKE. I had to think about that. I'm like, well, speaking about Milwaukee, yeah. you know, what I'm saying, uh-huh. but half of those people that you said that, you know, what I'm saying, I don't even think they claim Milwaukee. No, well, it's, well, they they do, they do now. K Camp comes Atlanta. I interviewed him before. Yeah, I know. So I know. You just you just literally pulled his card out. Yeah, right. you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, I seen him last night. He all good. Oh, he was out here. Yeah, yeah, I, I think BT Awards weekend, so you know, oh, every, everybody out here. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're everybody right. outside. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going outside? Yeah, I'm gonna go outside a little bit. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go outside a little bit. I was out. That's that's why I was a little late today because I was like outside last night. Oh, and, which where did you go? Uh, Terrence J had a party. Um, uh, Pleasure P. Uh, my big brother had a uh, after party. Then uh, I popped in on the verses a little bit yesterday too. Oh, mm-hmm. how do you feel about Ray J and um, Sammy? It was good. It was good. I had I, I kind of missed that that part of the show because I was watching it on live and I was just landing here in L. A. Mm-hmm. So I was trying to hurry up and get over there. But it was it was good vibe. It was you know uh, competitive energy over there. Who do you between pick, them guys? Um, Sammy or Ray J? Um, I I gotta do a little more. I don't want to say it because I I really gotta listen to the songs, but they both. Well, I mean, hmm. I gotta go back and really listen because sometimes you forget. You know, you forget like, oh, Mario or Marion. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Oh, got some. Oh, got some hits. Oh, got some hits. Then Mario got some hits too. You oh, know? you're political, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna give you the political. Yeah, you don't want to go on. I, I you, went to the millennial. You, you, you want to go? I paid. Correct. You, you don't want to be like, listen. I, I literally. Don't wanna get, Jacob don't want to get no shit. Shit. Like I, I we got, just don't keep it what it is. I got some free <laughs> tickets to the millennial tour, but I also put down my money and I also paid for some tickets. So that's how I'm a big fan of that era. I went to the well. I got the tickets to the two, and I went for free. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I went for free too, but yeah. then the second day, I was like, I'm paying for these tickets. I'm gonna just be in the crowd on some vibey stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's me too. I ain't gonna lie to you because first yeah. I was at the side of the little stage and shit. I said, Oh no, I'm out. Yeah, you want to kind of experience the show sometimes. And then I was a little bit embarrassed because everybody in the crowd had on like the outfits and shit, and yeah. I just wear some regular shit. I'm like, Damn. You got the spray painted T-shirts, the do rag. Yeah, you know what I'm saying the b- bandana. It's lit. Yeah, it low key. Hello. <laughs> Fire is lit. You, where, what do you want to achieve in your acting career? My acting career, um, I think my my next step was to really just sort of create something on my own. I think that's um, I think that's the next phase of my career. Really, just uh, getting together with script writers and really figuring out what type of ideas and what what type of stories I want to put out and uh, stories I want to support. Do you want like your goal? Do you want to get like the Oscars and the whole thing and all that? Yeah, kind of thing? absolutely. I think Emmy. Yeah, I think the more I just stay dedicated to the craft, those things will those things will come. Yeah, those things will come. Do you care about awards or is it like mm, who cares? I care. I try not to dwell on it too much because it's just like you know I I I've seen it disappoint people and then I've seen it like you know people just didn't expect it and they were like oh I want an Oscar I want an Emmy you know so I just I try to just focus on making good work. Yeah, we get know? nominated here for a couple of Emmys and they ain't win shit. So yeah. they were like, I, oh, I, you at least can say you're an Emmy-nominated person. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck does that mean? And there's so much content now. I feel like I'm discovering a lot of movies at the Oscars. I'm discovering a lot of films at the Emmys, you know, because I'm like, when did this come out? You know, and then I'm like, oh, okay, so I, let me go check this out because this won an award. And and then you start to see like, oh, because I'm working myself and I'm not always tapped into what's coming out every day. So um, it was it was dope to 
be able to watch the Oscars and be like, all right, all right, yeah, let me let me go check this film out and let me just you know like really tap in on this this craft. And for music, where do you where do you see yourself with the music game? Music, um, just. Uh, you want to get a BET award and all that? Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we only have to go to the Grammys. We just use a BET. <laughs> for sure. BET awards, Grammys. That's <laughs> all. I made it. <laughs> that's all a goal. That's all a goal. And definitely just, I think with music, just put out what I feel at the time I feel it, you know? And I think right now, the how I want to approach the studio now is just. I feel good, you know, yeah. and I want the music to re the music to reflect that. Uh, speaking of feel good, do you talk to Jason Mitchell anymore? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my boy. And how does he feel like the seasons keep on cracking and he ain't cracking with it? Uh, I'm not going. I'm not going to comment on that. But I just, you know, he, he's, <laughs> he's uh, salty. Love he's he's somebody. He's somebody I still support. And um, obviously we got we got to hold him accountable for 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 what happened. But um, I think you know he's still he's still a great person. Still somebody I. Still a great friend of mine, and somebody I always still you know support. That's good. I wonder if mm -hmm. it feels like goddamn season five. This is some bullshit. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I try not to talk to him about that because it's just you know that's that's something you can't really change at this point. You know, I think I just try to encourage him and and just give him that love. You know, what I mean that energy because we, we you know we friends. Um, when you were doing Empire, I mean, when you seen the Empire cast at all, right? And then Terrence and all that. Did you ever get come friends with Jesse Smollett? Uh, no, I I I, I met him briefly, but um, no, I I didn't really get a chance to, you know, connect with them. Connect with him, no. Oh well, yeah, mm, yes. I mean, <laughs> a lot going on. <laughs> I mean, it, it it was it was Empire though. Like when you walked onto the set, like the production was like, "Welcome to the Empire." I was like, and then you're really in the office. You're really in the Mm -hmm. You really in it? You like this is Empire Records, and then you got you got Lucius Lion Gold. Yeah, no, that, that yeah, it was like lit. I mean Lee it, Daniels. You know what I'm saying? Shout yeah. out to Lee Daniels. Lee Daniels is actually like one of the first, mm -hmm. like quote unquote, big. Well, actually, he wasn't the first. Tyler Perry was the first person who gave me an interview. Then mm -hmm. Lee Daniels was the second. But mm -hmm. just to you know be on a platform, and they just look out is big to me yeah and do you want to do actually work with um some directors like some black directors yeah absolutely i think for me i'm i'm i don't have um uh, i don't discriminate I, I definitely i think for me i just I, I always pay attention to the script first script is script is where where i can be like mm, yeah or you ever nah. turn down a script that you wish you didn't turn down um mm, not really not really no i think this time, this time around, I'm definitely a little more intentional about like, I just don't want to be doing films for the check or doing films because you know it's just because I want to keep the check check is the check check. I mean, it's tough. It's tough. It's do you, tough. Do you sell yourself out a little bit? If no, the check is we don't sell. We don't sell nothing. Mm -mm, we don't do that. Uh, we don't do that. Or not over here. Uh, but I think, <laughs> I think for me, it's it's definitely because I've I've done films where I'm like, all right, you know, I just keep working. Get this paycheck, you know it's a it's a cool film. It it'll 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 uh pay it'll it'll the viewers it, it it'll be it'll be some sort of demographic. It may not be like a a worldwide movie, but hey, this is a this is a project that'll cater towards this demographic. Yeah, cool, you know. Um, but I think for me in, intentionally right now, I definitely want to be want to level up and do bigger projects. But also, I don't want to get so caught up into what's bigger because. You know, it's really just about the writing because a film like Get Out was a small script until, you know, it went worldwide. So I don't want to get caught up into who the big names are. I just really want to pay attention to Well, now a dope you could story. just walk and say, I want to be the big name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, want a, I want a dope story and put me in it. Yeah, uh-huh. You know? Reality TV. Um, do you ever think you want to do reality TV? Uh, not right now. <laughs> maybe, maybe when I get older. <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe... But I don't know. I, I probably not. Probably not. I try. I like. I like to keep it private. Yeah, they yeah. said a lot. Um, they be like, okay, well, listen. I got so some. I got some people that can be on reality TV right now. In the family. In the family, friends, all that. Yeah. Like yeah. you need to be on reality television, brother. Yeah, and you gonna put them. You like, okay, I'll I'm make like, something with you. Yeah. Hey, Jersey, y'all looking for some? I got them. I got him. Has anybody, as far as your music career, ever turned you down for your records, like that you wanted to work with, and said, "Like, eh, Jacob, I'm not getting back to you." Um, no, nah, not really, because I don't really reach out like that. 
I don't really reach out. I just I, I just put out my music and then whoever reach out and is, if it's organic, that's it. You know, it is what it is. Yeah. Who's, I think, your, who's your dream? Who's your dream person? Dream. Um, I used to have a dream person. Now I just kind of want to. I don't know. I mean, I, I work with Chris. Work with Justin Bieber, Usher. Uh, I would love it. I would love to get in with Drake one day. That'd be crazy. I do think, you want? <clears throat> do you want to get in Drake just because Drake does numbers, or just because he's Drake? No, I think what? Drake is an artist. Like I feel like as as an artist, I just kind of see myself like that. Obviously, I don't rap, but I think when he does like the the singing stuff and the music stuff, I'm like. I'm like this is an artist, and he acts. People don't people people forget that. Oh no, we don't forget that. No, nah, I mean the wheelchair. I mean, dude, what is, what's his I name mean, again? a lot of people do though. I think a lot of people forget. No, like, what's the wheelchair guy's name? Uh, Drake's wheelchair. Uh, and uh, and um, Degrassi. Yeah, Degrassi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, 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 no. They nah. didn't forget about Degrassi. Yeah, and I. Uh, that's what pulled him pulled him through the bay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I think who he is. I, when I look at like a Will Smith, or I look at a Drake, I look at Jamie Fox. I'm like. That's my career right there. You know what I mean? Producing. Will Smith, Jamie Foxx, or Drake? Who's the best? I mean, they dog so different. Yeah, but who do you pick? Which one's your top? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's, they, they're so different, right? You can't even compare them. Will Smith had like a totally different career than Drake. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. But who's then, your number one? I ain't got one. Oh, yes. Yeah, Jake. Did. Jacob Lattimore is the number one. Oh, yeah. Of course. He goes to political. You know what I'm right saying? Now, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. I, <laughs> but, I think um, I, I could take something from everyone and be like, all right, I see that. I see that. Like, Jamie definitely taps in and does, like, these really method acting roles. And then Will is just a, a superstar who's just fans are waiting for, for him everywhere. Well, now, like, they're hating on Will, of course, since the whole Chris Rock thing. But Man, Will Smith walked down the block right now. They taking that phone out. They like, hey, Will. Oh, I'm taking it out. Yeah, they like, look, can I get a picture? I'm, I me, mean, you know, hello. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? It, what happened, happened, but. Things happen in general. What, you when know, we what filmed in New York, it was like street theater. It was like 400 people watching us outside while we was filming. Yeah. Like, it, and they clapped when they said cut. Yeah, they all know. Oh my yeah. God! And they're like Jaden. I'm like, I'm not Jaden. Yeah, I'm not Jaden. I'm not Jaden. But yeah. you know me. So yeah, Will you know Smith. Me so. Though I mean, listen. Mm -hmm. Period. Like I don't know. I don't. But I don't believe in counseling culture. Period. So like, nah, man. I don't know. think you can really counsel people. He's human, man. He. I hope. I hope they. Uh, I hope they eventually can come together and um, you know, actually create some create something. I think that'll that'll turn the whole the whole page around you know what i mean that's like actually a good idea i think that you come they, together and then you create something but then egos are just you know hollywood mm -hmm. it's tough and it's, it's a it's tough ridiculous. it's a tough it ain't easy it ain't easy if someone slaps you <clears throat> what do you do i don't know are you a chris rock or you will smith um i'm probably both <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably a little bit of both. <laughs> okay, so you walk away, or you you just can't. Uh, it depends. Depends. I I don't know. It's, it's some stuff you just don't know until you're in that situation. Some mm -hmm. you don't know you don't know yourself. I think you don't know yourself until you're in that situation because I know myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm slapping the shit out your ass back quick. Yeah, because I mean I ain't never. I know I can. I, I can calculate my step. I ain't never <laughs> been slapped outside of. Outside, acting? outside of you know acting or slap boxing or <laughs> or sparring and you know in the gym like it ain't it ain't I ain't never had that so I don't know. You never got in a fight before? No, not really. I, don't, I ain't no fighter. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm too loved. I got yeah. I got I got people ready to fight for me. Yeah, but so you don't you you ain't the, never had to throw no quick hands. I I don't have to. I choose my battles. Yeah, but if the but in general, have you been practicing your just in case ever you ever yeah, I think, get in a fight? I mean, have that's you, just my. Is your boxing okay? Or I mean, it was in it, just case anybody tries you because they'd be like, okay, he never got a fight before. Intentionally, it was just for fitness, right? And then yeah. it's just like I'm just I just want to get a good get a good workout in, and and then you start you start getting in the gym like, okay, let me see where I'm at as a man, you know? So yeah, yeah. I've gotten better. Okay, good. But I think you always case, you always get better though, because it's always somebody else that's that's good. When I when I you go out and stuff, and one of these guys may try you. So I really want you, since you've never been mm -hmm. to fight before, yeah, get you some karate lessons just in case <laughs> somebody tries you. Uh, you know uh what's what's the uh yeah. what's the um joint? Bruce Lee? No, no, what's the other? Not Bruce Lee. Uh, Last Dragon. Yeah. Last Dragon be crazy. Yeah. That would be you crazy. You know what I'm saying? Get you the Taekwondo moves or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because I stay ready, prepared, just in case hey. anybody wants to know. And I let them know these Look, guys I'm are I'm small. I'll pick up some. Pick, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. 
That's a you good. I mean? I mean, listen, get the nearest object. Nearest but we don't want to promote that. <laughs> I'm not promoting that. Listen, yeah. if you can get out of there, because if you can get out of there, get out of there, because they don't want to fight these days, obviously. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, little TJ just got shot, which is insane. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they just that's, that's 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 really sick, though, right? Mm -hmm. You have to be careful because now they're putting things tags yeah, you on you. You just can't and stuff like that. You just so, can't. You can't go around like. Everybody, obviously, you, you said it first. Like every everybody gonna say something regardless. So you can't really just go around fighting the world. You you be tired. Uh, look, <laughs> you, yeah, you drain yourself after that. Yeah, I mean, technically, you're 100 percent accurate with mm -hmm. that. Yeah, you just can't. Yeah, we going. We we traveling too much for that. We got it to the next city. We home. We we ain't gonna see them ever again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But anyways, I will let you go because I know you have a little time thing. But you are fun to talk to. I really could talk to you for a long time. I you really me up. Ah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, yeah, I'm sorry. I was late. I was, Jacob about was ten minutes. Late. About ten fifteen. He's, I'm just. I'm lying. But guess what? You know what? You weren't honestly that late because a lot of people be coming late, late. Nah, yeah. I, I had was... someone come the other day, an hour and a half late, and I say, ain't this a bitch? Yeah, I my... could have been at home. You know what I'm saying? At the crib doing all my... kind of weird shit. Mom's got a phone in the hotel room. I'm like. Hello? <laughs> Hello? You know we got that um at the TMZ office. You know I'm Daniel like, Williams. Oh, Mama's in there. God, yeah. get up. And I'm like, Your mama looking at you crazy, give you the eye and yeah. stuff. Like, now nah, you know you better be more professional than this. I know, I know. You're making her get out of character. I know. And then your stepdaddy sitting there shaking his head now, like, I told this boy I don't know. Right, 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 right. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what the problem is, but he just, we are professional. Right. Exactly. On the whole way car right here. Listen. Right. If you gonna go out, you still need to have a business. Uh -huh. Business comes first, That's no matter right. what you do. That's right. You, you know, know it. <laughs> you know it. You yeah, know I'm, it. Listen, I'm a mama. I sit there and put my son on. I just tell my son shit all the time. Like, Justice, why are you cheering, doing shit all the time? Right, right. I tell him, get up in the morning. He be like, why? Like, w what time? What time your son get up? I don't even know. Like, I, I'm I tell a... him to get up early, but he wants to sleep in, and he'd be like, okay, I'm in the studio, because uh. now he wants to do a rap thing and stuff. Oh, yeah. Naturally, I do get up pretty early. I mean, I got a dog, too, so, like, I think not, like my dog has trained me to get up like at like six a.m. See, you have a dog. Dogs are like kids. Yeah, that's the problem. It's like like yeah, pre training for kids for sure. Yeah. Oh, it the dog is pre training for kids. Mm -hmm. what, but when do you want a kid? <sighs> I don't know. Before what age? I think I think men we look at we look at our bank accounts. We look at our bank accounts like all right, is this enough for a family? <laughs> and I think I don't think we look at if. Yeah, I think is this enough for a family or is this What's enough? What's it what's a quote that you think is <sighs> enough for a family? It's hard. It's hard because right when you get the your gold and you like mm, maybe just a little bit more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but what is the goal though for a family? What just name a number that maybe you feel for 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 a child, my child? Um, I don't want to say. I mean, a million or two for my child, but for myself, for the family more. More. So oh so you ain't you ain't with the old school family, huh? We just get it how we can and just you know no, do just, what we can do. You just, talking about a million or two? Yeah, just yeah, cause that you that lifestyle hit I different. think I think I want to. You want the white picket fences? General, shit. I want to. I, I think I want to like that generational generational wealth. Yeah, yeah, I want that. You know, I want my kids to be comfortable. I also want them to know that you know there's. I want them to be humble about it, but I definitely want them to live a different. I want them to experience the world and see the world, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like, and have the funds to be able to do so. Well, you, I mean, you have to experience everything that yourself that you want to experience. Right. And then technically, are you, are you going to do it the right way? Are you going to get married first? Then That's what I, kid? yeah, I want to have. Are you going to just do the baby mama shit? Because I nah, did the wrong way several times. I don't want to do that. I want to get <laughs> married, move in, kids, raise a family, nice home, like that. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what that's what I grew up. That's what I grew up in. That's what it. Sh I mean, listen. That's what it should be because mm -hmm. I did all, all shit all backwards. I'm telling you, it's that's right. not the right way to go. Hey, hey, you <laughs> but, know, life happens, but it's a beautiful. It's, it turns out to be a beautiful of thing, course. anyway. Yeah, we're out here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. I got the Brady bunch at the crib. Hello, <laughs> hello. But in general, though, that's good that you want to just do everything in order and stuff like that. That you're not yeah. out here just be like, oh, I'm just getting loose and as a goose and producing things. Right. But then it shows you you pick you pick a girl that you know has sense. You're right. So that matters. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You didn't pick somebody who has no sense. And you're not the type to pick that, huh? You're not nah. into like the hood rat shit type of deal, huh? They're fun. They're fun. I'm from <laughs> Milwaukee, like I said. They're fun. But mm -hmm. I definitely... um. Fun, fun it's it's not... I don't fun. really want to discriminate. Like, 
a, a girl from the hood could be, you she could be from the hood, but she could be like have ambition and she can have intentions about her life. You know what I mean? It's really about that. It's mm-hmm. like, what, what's your intentions about life? What do you want out of life? Well, is she from the hood? Who? Your honey? Sarea? Yeah. Um, I mean, she's from L.A., so she's experienced that. Sarea ain't from no damn hood. I'm just sitting there. Sarea from L.A. Sarea right from here. L.A., but I, think, I don't think Sarea, she... Sarea, grew- listen, I interviewed her, yeah. what, two years ago? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think she, ain't no, no hood. Nah, she, she not... A, she ain't, I she think, ain't not even a half a bus of but, hood. But then again, I'm from the hood, but I'm not hood. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I think, like, L.A. But listen. You know what I'm saying? Listen. I need to go to Milwaukee right now and see the hood. You need to go. Because he's sitting here acting like we in the trenches. So I'm going, next stop is Milwaukee. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I'm, tell, I'm telling you. I think, I think, I think as a, it's really, really about who you want to be. I think your environment can't really define who you are. You of know course what I'm saying? It, it, I mean, listen. So, yeah, that's, you know. But, I mean, you know, listen, this guy's Mr. Political Correct. We're going to switch his name, okay? She thought she could get yeah. me. Yeah, so we're going <laughs> to... Media training. Media training. Shout out to the Pablo I've, Says. Okay. I've been in the game you know for a saying? long time, he's big ready. baby. He knows what he's doing here, guys. Yeah, hello. Hello. <laughs> he has been media training. He is media savvy. So but I've been, think... I've been keeping it real, though. No, you have. I've been keeping it real. But listen, you still know how to answer and what to answer and what to say. Like, you already came ready and prepared. <laughs> I'm, Some people be up here like, ah, da, 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 uh, I, I, start, to that. I don't know. I, I started a couple times. It's all right. No, you, no, you, 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 you know what I'm saying? You, you came LeBron with it. LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> I told Kobe, I told Phil, I told. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So shout out. Um, thank you so much for coming. Thank I really you. Appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, definitely. Um, out here, cool one. Thank you. Thank you. Mm.